Look, I'll be honest, the channel that we're talking about today, I didn't even know existed a week ago. But since I spent the last week researching this channel and researching this particular situation that has a lot of people concerned for certain people's safety, it's made me realise that this channel is probably the most dark, confusing and complex family channel I think we've ever spoke about. But before we get any further, if you haven't already subscribed, please think about doing so because I'm trying to hit 350,000 subscribers and you will make my day. Now here's the family in question, but I do just have to pre-warn you guys that there's probably gonna be a lot of names pronounced very incorrectly because this is the most confusing bunch of names I think I've ever seen. So the mum of the channel is Tyana Licardo Tyvola. I think. And what makes her family channel very unique is that she doesn't just have one kid, she doesn't have two, she doesn't even have three. She has ten. <laughs> I mean, each to their own, she's clearly had a lot of fun, but let's have a look at the names of the children. So we got Leonardo de Valentino, we got Cleopatra, who is actually a very important figure in this story, so that's someone you do need to remember. We got Jerusalem Judge, we got Romeo Romeo Indiana, we got Dartagan Angel, we've got Shakespeare Winter Fox, we've got Nefertiti Butterfly Bambatiana, we've got King James Ocean Fox, we've got Aphrodite Princess Babantiana, and of course we've got Omega Royal Fox. Beautiful names by the way, but for someone who struggles with five letter words, it's gonna be a very confusing video. So like a lot of family channels that we speak about here on this channel, a lot of people started to get very concerned over how Tiana was raising the kids. She's shown to be very controlling in her videos, all the kids have to wear white t-shirts like it's some sort of cult. There's videos where Tiana's just filming the house and she just shows the baby just lying on the solid wood floor just in the corner of the room, like not even being looked after. In fact, her kids didn't even have beds for the longest period of time recently, and potentially still don't, but recently a video actually got deleted where one of the kids is seen building his own bed out of Lego because he didn't have his own bed. Even the way she talks in videos just gives you a bit of like a weird feeling like in this video where she's just referring to her own baby as it. It's yours. When it's dirty or it pukes and it's broken, it's yours. It's mine. When it's clean and laughing and smiling, it's ours. So you can already see why people aren't exactly big fans of Tiana, right? Well, on July 9th, 2021, Tiana actually uploaded a video saying that the whole family was going to Australia. What are you doing, guys? Getting flights to Australia. Ooh, finally. finally. Now Cleopatra wasn't actually in this video and people were just assuming like, oh, she must be busy somewhere else. Like it's not really a big deal if she's not in one video. But then in a later video when they're planning the move to Australia, Tiana says that they're packing 10 suitcases for 10 people. And this is strange because it should be 11 suitcases. You got the two parents and nine kids because one of the kids actually lives with their wife but they're not, they're packing 10 suitcases. And as more and more vlogs got uploaded, it was clear to see that Cleopatra just didn't go to Australia with them. And in fact, when people would leave these comments asking where Cleopatra is, Tiana actually had to approve the comments. She has a comment section set to, if someone leaves a comment, it has to get approved before it's made public. So she approves these comments of people concerned about Cleopatra, but then doesn't respond to them. It's almost like she loves playing this weird like guessing game, even though people are literally concerned for her own daughter. And that becomes more clear later in the video. But this is where we introduce JJJ. John James Jose, which by the way, is someone that you're probably very aware of if you've seen any of my Deaf Noodles videos, you just might not know it yet. Now this is Cleopatra's ex-husband. This is someone that a lot of people believe the mother got Cleopatra to marry this guy just because she thought he was rich and he could bring a lot of money into the family and properties and whatnot. There was even a lot of rumors making the rounds because a supposed video of like government agents were saying that Cleopatra was sold to JJJ by Tiana, but none of this has been proved. But after months of people being concerned of Cleopatra's whereabouts and her safety, Tiana started like teasing where she was with videos like this called Where is Cleopatra? Tiana Licardo Toivola Exposed! Happy Face! Which is obviously a very weird title to use when people are just very concerned for your daughter's safety, and when we later find out where Cleopatra actually was, it makes this title so much more bizarre. She was even teasing Cleopatra's return on social media by saying, oh, grab the popcorn and all this stuff, which yet again, when we find out what the situation actually was, 
is such a weird response. But then eventually we got a tell-all video from Cleopatra talking about the situation that she was in when she married JJJ. Now JJJ, I, I can't say JJJ over again, can I? Right, he's called John. Now John has actually made a few responses to Cleopatra's video on certain like interviews and whatnot. So I'm gonna try and pair them together the most I can so you can kind of get both sides of the story because this is very he said, she said. So the video starts off with Cleopatra saying that she went to Finland one day and just so happened to marry someone. When I was in Finland, I met someone and I thought he was nice and I got married. So that happened. As you do, you know, like the amount of times that I've went on holiday, saw someone went, ah, oh, quite nice. Let's put a ring on it. Now, like I said, a lot of people believe that Tiana actually set up this marriage because she believed that John was this mega rich guy that he betrayed himself as, which we will later discuss. And if that was the case, that would make sense why the marriage just happened out of nowhere. But Cleopatra makes it very, very, very clear in this video that her mum has absolutely nothing to do with it. So much so that she has to tell you over like 20 times. Anyone who comments on this video or any other posts that this is my mum's idea, you will be blocked immediately by me personally because I will be looking at the comments of this video. I was the one who personally found this man, not my mum. It was my choice. I have to make that very clear because some people have made up their own ideas which are not true at all. Now remember this video is uploaded onto the mother's channel. You can hear the mother talking in the background throughout the video. And just the way that Cleopatra seems to be acting in this video, you could say it's kind of like a coping mechanism with like her laughter and whatnot. But to me, it almost maybe seems like she just isn't ready to really talk about this. And if she wasn't ready and Tiana has made her upload this video to kind of clear her own name, Obviously that's fucked up. But to add to this theory that Tiana actually approached John to try and get him to marry Cleopatra, that's actually what John said happened. What happened was I was minding my own business, I was happy by myself, and all of a sudden, uh, China messaged me out of nowhere saying that uh, God created Cleopatra for me. And I was like, who is this girl Cleopatra? And she messaged me saying that God uh, created Cleopatra for me and I'm created for Cleopatra. So okay. what's going on is that me, I'm born again Christian. So like if you talk to me about Bible, I would listen to you. That's pretty much what she told me. She used the Bible on me and stuff and like pretty much told me all these things and I believed in her. And all of a sudden, there's this woman saying that her daughter was made for me. Now in Cleopatra's video, she goes on to explain that John basically lies about his whole entire life, his career and who he is to try and trick people basically, which we will later to find out to be pretty damn true. He had lied to me about his age and basically everything else about him. It's like, you know how you find out something and it's like, my life's a lie? Well, I found out s stuff about him and his whole life is basically a lie. Which basically adds to the theory that a lot of people think that Tiana's trying to get back at John because he did lie about being this mega rich guy who has the infinite amount of money and can buy land and islands and all this shit when none of that was true. He even lied to Cleopatra about his age and said he was a lot younger than he actually was. He was a 33 year old man and I was only 21. When I found him, he was telling everyone he was 26. And this is true. If you look here at John's records, you can see that he's currently a 35 year old man, but he is still to this day trying to claim that he's a lot younger. How old are you, 32, 30, 33? I'm 27, 27. 27. But this is where Cleopatra goes into more details of what John was actually like. She says that John's own family actually had restraining orders against him and John was trying to prevent Cleopatra from speaking to her family. His family didn't even want to see him. And some of them have restraining orders against him. He stole my phone and all my social media and spoke to a lot of you guys on my Snapchat and Instagram. And then she has this kind of strange part in the video where she's talking about how she had to lie about her family to John for her own safety, but just the whole vibes of it, it's just, it's weird. I mean, give it a watch. If you're in that situation, say anything to please that person for your safety. So that's what I did. And I told my family that, and they're like, you did a great job. We understand the whole thing. I made him think. And I have my family. 
<laughs> I could... Wow. And all the people who helped me, including the detectives and the police officers, said that I did a great job in making him think I hate my family. Like, I don't know, it's just a weird part of the video. You can hear the mum laughing in the background. And she's really trying to stress the point that what she said about her family in the past was for her safety and she had to say it. Which I'm not saying is untrue, but it's as if she's been told to really stress that point. Now Cleopatra actually says that her family didn't even know if she was safe, which is strange because if they didn't know, why were they still uploading videos on YouTube like nothing had happened and even teasing your whereabouts? And in that time period, my family even wondered if I even was alive. My family tried to post videos happily, not even knowing if I was alive. Like, I'm sorry, but if you think your daughter may potentially be dead, you're not continuing to just upload, like, happy go Larry vlogs, are you? You're trying to find your daughter, like, I don't understand this. And obviously on top of that, there are proving comments from people asking where Cleopatra is, but they're not responding to them. They're posting videos like, where is Cleopatra, and all this stuff, and teasing her whereabouts, making little remarks to it in certain videos, like, I don't know, it's, it's a weird, weird vibe that's going on here. But to add some context to what Cleopatra is saying, John actually goes on to explain what Cleopatra told John about her family. When everybody was sleeping already, Cleopatra pretty much talked to me crying, saying that whatever her mom was doing is wrong, that she always does that, wherever she go, everybody hates her, that uh, they couldn't even go to church because everybody hates her, They when they go to, to India, everybody hates her there, that Jerusalem was like, I'm done dealing with mom, as soon as I found my wife, I'm gonna leave, and me, I already found my wife, so I'm leaving, I mean my husband, so I'm leaving with you, so let's go. So in the middle of the night, we left and we, 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 we went to California. Cleopatra didn't want us to talk to mom ever again. And then the last part of the video we're going to look at, Cleopatra goes on to say that John actually created a GoFundMe in her name without her knowledge. He did a GoFundMe and someone actually gave money, uh, but I got a message from them and they said they got their money back when they found out that it wasn't me. No, that's probably, uh, that's probably uh, Cleopatra. So Cleopatra may have done that then. Right, right. Now the reason why I bring that part up is because that ties in very much to the Death Noodle story we spoke about a few weeks ago, which like I said, we will later get onto, but just keep that in mind. Now when this video was uploaded, a lot of people were concerned that Tiana potentially made Cleopatra upload this video to almost just clear Tiana's name, and it might be a story that Cleopatra wasn't even ready to tell. And then a lot of people obviously think that Tiana actually got Cleopatra to marry John because they thought that John was this very successful, rich guy who has these ties to these very important people, hence why they got married so quickly out of nowhere. Now this supposedly rich person, JJJ, actually has a very dodgy past. So he likes to lie about his career and try and come across as a very important person to try and scam people out of money. Like for example, we can see from this conversation from 2016, where JJJ has actually scammed someone for $5,000. Please check into a personal under the table stock purchase or one of your employees selling his own personal investment stock of Disney production stock to individuals at a discount. Can someone verify if my $5,000 initial investment is legit? The employee of Disney is one of your chief producers and according to him, one of Disney's brain children with new up and coming series made for television. John James Jose. He is also posting to a lot of friends he has cars to give away and tickets, phones, etc. Mr. James portrays himself as a self-made millionaire and represents himself to others that he is a big wig at Disney Productions. If this is true, can someone get him to make stock purchases legit or give the investors money back that he took in cash for some odd reason he tells an elaborate story? Story. And we even have another person from 2021 here who says, I recently went through a similar situation with John, but with a lot of cash. I believe he is going around scamming people out of their money. Please reach out to me so we can get our money back. He also has multiple kids with multiple women, and one of the women was actually a teenager when he was 30 when they had this kid. And in fact, he actually allegedly tried to kidnap this child and was deemed dangerous enough that an Amber Alert was issued. Now we can see the records of this online, but even more damning than that, the story actually made the news. Also new this morning, an Amber Alert has been canceled after an 18-month-old boy was found safe overnight. Police say the boy was taken around 
three yesterday afternoon in Pacoima by his father, who authorities describe as suicidal. Chula Vista police found the toddler just after one o'clock this morning with his father and other family members. And at last check, the father had not been arrested or detained. The toddler has yet to be reunited with his mother, but will be soon. And as we can see by the article attached, this story was in fact about John. Now, John would lie about owning properties that he just doesn't own. And he would promise Tiana that he would get Cleopatra and the family these massive houses and even goes as far to create fake paperwork showing that he owns a $2.2 million house. Her mom flies home on April 29th and you buy a house then? Yeah, so this is the... Where is it? See, it's her name and my name and it's... Uh... $2.2 million. Now, when you look up the property in question, John doesn't own the house. It's in a completely different name. And in fact, the only footage of proof that John has that he owns this house is when he went to the property viewing and he just kind of went there to film around the house to kind of proof that he owns the gaff. He even went as far to lie that he was best mates with Donald Trump. Like, this guy has no shame. He even told Tiana that when he marries Cleopatra, Donald Trump is going to personally gift them a beach side lot that can fit five houses on it. Like, he said that. And he even told Tiana to take a picture with the family in Trump hats so he could send it to Donald Trump as a thank you because this guy's absolutely mental. And I think it's needless to say that Trump never ended up gifting the beach side lot, eh? God, how dare he go back on his word. But this is where the lies get extremely dark because when Cleopatra left John to move to Australia, he actually pretended to be in a coma for two months. He said this happened because his car rolled over multiple times on the highway and he was lucky to be alive and all this, but his own brother came out and said that this is a load of shite. It's just not true. I mean, this is just one of the many fake Instagram stories talking about John in his coma. Update, he's in deep sleep, but physically good. Doctors are surprised that he did not break any bones or need any surgery. God definitely holds JJ in the palm of his hand to protect him at all times, because all he cares about is to be there and help others. Thank you all for your prayers. Please pray that he wakes up. Now after John's own brother came out and said there's a load of shit, John then returned back to the internet and just kind of acted like nothing ever happened. And after Cleopatra didn't end up traveling back, John retaliated by sending some of Cleopatra's fans her nudes, basically revenge porn, which is obviously fucking disgusting. But this is where we get into Death Noodles, because do you remember in his second roast battle when Salvo was causing absolute mayhem? And you saw this guy on the stage with the long blonde hair? That's John. <laughs> yes, that's right, the Marky channel has well and truly gone full circle. Honestly, you should have seen my face when I realized this. Like, I couldn't believe my eyes. Like, this is the equivalent of the Joker and Thanos joining forces in some weird DC and Marvel combination. Like, it just doesn't make sense. But to be fair, I'm actually about to defend Death Noodles and take back a previous statement I did make about Dennis because now I found out more about JJJ, it actually makes a situation that happened with Death Noodles recently make a lot more sense. So you remember when Death Noodles said he was going to perform in Las Vegas and then he posted a link to some tickets that just didn't exist? Well, I don't actually think that was Dennis's fault other than the fact that he was just gullible. So when Dennis explained this, he was talking about how John, or it goes by TJLT as his comedy name for some reason. Well, he says that John was the person who created the Eventbrite and told Dennis to post it. You know, I get a message around 7.30, I think. He sends me the link to an Eventbrite and asks me to promote it, and I promote it. And the Eventbrite, I did not create it, okay? I didn't create the Eventbrite. I just shared it on my social media. I did my job as a comic. I promoted the show because you want to get people out. Which I definitely do believe, because as we spoke about earlier, John set up a GoFundMe in Cleopatra's name to try and get some money, and on top of all the other lies and scams we've already mentioned in today's video, so I definitely do believe this. And Dennis then goes on to say that John was really trying to get him to perform somewhere, but every club they went to, he was banned, you know? He was just blacklisted from Las Vegas. He says, you know what? We're gonna show these trolls. I'm gonna get you up on another club here in Las Vegas. And he starts making calls. He's, he comes back after one of these calls and he says, I got a spot, 9.30 at this club and we're gonna go up and I'm gonna go up and I got a spot for myself, but I'm gonna bring you up on my spot so that, you know, you can prove these trolls wrong. 
and he like parks the car and uh we run out he runs out uh he turns on the child lock by the way which i was in the back seat i couldn't even open the door there was oh, fucking 110 no. degrees yeah anyway i'm sitting there he comes back and he says no they called this club too and they don't want you to perform here they said you're blacklisted in vegas so look i do believe dennis i think that john's made the link to try and scam people and get money out of it and dennis has just been a bit stupid and naive to kind of post it without really checking into it and yet again from dennis his story we can see that john is trying to lie and make him seem more powerful than he is you know calling these people going to these clubs to try and get dennis a slot but he just can't because he's blacklisted from vegas like that's just a load of shite he probably went in the club had a drink came back out and went oh yeah sorry blacklisted must be. So yeah, I do just want to say I'm sorry to Dennis because I didn't believe that story at first, but I definitely do now. But to conclude on the Cleopatra and John situation, there is absolutely no doubt in my brain that John could have been a horrible person to Cleopatra and that what a lot of Cleopatra is saying in the video could definitely be true. Now the part that is still a bit of a question and that a lot of people do still believe is did Tiana contact John thinking he was this mega rich influential important person and get Cleopatra to marry him without even knowing who he was just so they could reap the benefits and get the money and the land and the famous people and all the important people all this stuff did that happen? And if she knew that Cleopatra was in this awful situation with John, why did she carry on teasing it by approving the comments and posting titles that are just teasing her whereabouts? And why did she carry on the vlogs like nothing was happening? There's so many questions that I just left unanswered. But either way, if you do want me to take a deeper dive into this in the future, let me know in the comments if you do want a part two. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the video there. So if you did enjoy, please do a like down below, subscribe if you are new. If you wanna let me know any topics to talk about in future videos, the best way to do that's on my Instagram. That's how I found out about this, so this video wouldn't have happened without you coming to my Instagram and letting me know what topic to speak about. So if you want to, DM me on there. And uh, yeah, until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, good. Bye.